this up the vertebrae one at a time. until you reach the crown of the head, and then imagine the whole body erect but relaxed, as if hanging off of a thin thread. Now divide the body into three chambers, one from the neck up to the crown of the head, the second from the neck down to the navel, and the third from the navel down to below the tailbone. And begin by placing your awareness in that top chamber, that top bubble. As you breathe in a natural rhythm, and just feel any tension. in the body in that area and soften it as you breathe. So perhaps a tightness around the eyes, soften that. A tightness around the jaw Soften the tongue, the well at the base of your throat. You can imagine <clears throat> warmth flowing down from the top of the head down over the shoulders, just relaxing everything like a bit like a warm butter, just melting down. Always having the rhythm of the breath in the background. And then you can let the mind come back to the rhythm of the breath, either where you feel it prominently, such as the nose, or imagining the breath as a bright, nourishing, moist, and light mist coming in and out of that top chamber with the inhale and the exhale, just your breathing in that way. Now you can allow the awareness to drop to the second chamber from the neck to the navel, sort of a bubble.
and do the same. Find any points of tension. In the throat. A certain tightness or holding of the diaphragm itself. Just relax. Soften. You can include the palms of the hands within this second chamber. You can imagine that same warm sensation melting through this chamber and relaxing everything. Feel the breath in that chamber too, either sensing its motion in one spot where you feel it most prominently, such as the space just below the breastbone or a few inches above the navel, or a wider awareness, just thinking of the breath as a bright, mist moving in and out of that chamber, nourishing it and saturating it with a white light. Don't neglect the back of your body either, the shoulder blades and the kidneys. Let the bright mist saturate those areas too. Now we allow awareness to drop once more to the third chamber from the navel down to below the tailbone. Feeling how the belly moves with the breath. And relaxing any points of tension you feel in that chamber. the stomach, the feet. Just soften them and allow that same warm sensation to melt through that third chamber, relaxing everything there. And then allow your mind to come to wherever the breath is in that chamber, either the belly or once again, the visualization of the breath as a white mist coming in and out. You can even draw up that energy from the tailbone into the body with the inhale if you want. 
like a spring of cool water. And now expand awareness to encompass all three chambers. Making the mind as wide as the body or wider. The body sitting within the mind, not the mind within the body. And you can allow the mind to come to the place where you feel the breath most clearly. Often that'll be the tip of the nose, though for others it might be the diaphragm. And touch the breath there. tracking it carefully, especially through the inhale and exhale. But at the same time, remaining aware of the whole body in the background, like the, a spider at the center of a web, but aware of the whole web. and just maintain a sort of bright, broad awareness of the breath, but centered. Once again, you can visualize the breath as a white mist coming in and out of wherever you feel needs to be nourished hydrated. You can ask yourself, where do I need the breath right now? Visualizing the breath as mist coming through the shoulder blades or the kidneys. brightening the crown of the head, wherever you feel it. And if the mind still has a lot of energy and doesn't want to settle into that one way of tracking the breath centered in one spot but aware of the whole body, then just run through the three chambers again. moving to the top, the middle, the lower, and then expanding to encompass the whole body, but centered at the main point. And you can just repeat that a bit like a dog circling its bed before it lies down until the mind is willing to stay. And if it wanders, then just gently, smilingly bring it back. And if there's something else the mind really needs to go to, like difficulty from the past week or just a sense of bruising in the heart, 
And you can let it just hold that impression. It's okay. Can you be continuously aware of the breath? A thin silk thread at the nose or wherever you feel it. And to move towards more subtle awareness. Really try not to lose the breath between the inhale and exhale or the exhale and inhale. That's where it'll drop most of the time.
Now bring awareness to the heart. And just allow a gentle sense of kindness to grow. And then as usual, allow all those sitting here with you to come into that caring space, hold them in your heart as well. And bring in anyone who's not here who you want to think of someone you're dedicating your practice to. And if it helps, you can uh, imagine shrinking them and bringing them into the heart. Or just imagine a bright golden field under the sun and have yourself surrounded by all these people. Wishing them well. Make sure to include your own heart in that, allowing it to be part of that warm space if it needs rest as well. (laughs) 